It's Logan Ryan! Picked off at the 49-yard line by Logan Ryan. And Logan Ryan says, no, that will not happen today. Intercepted! Logan Ryan at the 40! And the Titans with the takeaway! Brady in trouble, stepping up. Intercepted! Picked off, Logan Ryan! Logan Ryan, the former Patriot, who gets him? Logan Ryan! Before we talk football, I want to talk to you a little bit about some off the field stuff. I know you and Ashley founded the Ryan Animal Rescue Foundation, done a whole bunch for this community for animals, especially dogs. How did that come about and how proud are you that the city has embraced you and your wife like they have? Yeah, I mean, uh, who doesn't love animals, right? I grew up, I grew up having pets, my wife did, and uh, soon in my, early in my NFL career, she decided to dedicate her life to animal rescue. She's worked in animal shelters, she's volunteered, and she literally was sweeping up kennels for minimum wage because of the love of it. I wanted to get those dogs adopted, I wanted to get those cats adopted, I wanted to pay for those spay and neuters, and I wanted to challenge everybody else to do more for these animals too. And you kind of kidded your teammates to kind of come to you to kind of solve yeah. some problems. Is that is that true? Yeah, like I think Marcus quoted, I'm the dog whisperer. They, they come to me uh, about dogs that they want to get, uh, questions they may have, potty training, uh, why is my dog chewing the couch? So I just kind of, you know, tell them positive reinforcement, you know, no yelling and, and, and hitting your animals. It's all positive reinforcement. And as far as your own education goes, I know you came out for the draft. You, you had not graduated at that time. You promised your parents you would go back, yeah. uh, and then you end up walking the, you know, the following year. Why, why was that important to you, and what was that like as a, a guy who's now in the NFL league, now yeah. you know, walking at graduation? Well, you know, my parents raised me to be a man of my word, and when I, when I committed to University of Rutgers, they started off 0-3 that season. I remember my senior high school, and they were 0-3, and a lot of people were decommitting. And you know, I talked to my dad, like, oh, do you think I should visit other schools? And he said, no, you committed to Rutgers. You're gonna commit to Rutgers. One day you're gonna commit to a wife. You're gonna stay committed to your wife. So that's just something I believe in. I told my parents I was gonna graduate college, and I was fortunate to be a good college football player to leave as a junior. And I, I chased the dream of being in the NFL, which came true, and I wasn't gonna turn down that opportunity. But I went right back to, to, to finish my last semester right after my rookie year with the Patriots. And it was what I was supposed to do, honestly. Graduating college was on my list, and that's what I went and did. Now in your third season with the Titans, after playing four years in New England, you got a couple of Super Bowl rings. I know I've seen them. They're impressive. <laughs> I mean, I mean how, how much did that time in New England shape you, and how much do you feel like there's a, a, maybe a winning mentality brewing here in Tennessee? You know, New England shaped me a ton just because I was coached hard each and every day. If you want to be successful in life, I feel like you have to stay in the now. You have to learn from your mistakes, and New England's going to help you learn from that. And Vrabel is very much the same way. And the way we are here, it doesn't matter what anyone did last season. It's a true testament to that. We need to get ready to build for this season, and I need to become a better corner each and every day, uh, not only for myself, for my family, but for the Tennessee Titans. And the better I can be and be honest and critique my own game, you know, the better it be for the team. And I think when you build a locker room of guys that hold themselves accountable, and when you hold yourself to a high standard, you're able to hold other people around you to a high standard because I can demand more, I'm giving more. And that's something that I learned in New England, that's something that we have here and continue to grow here. I'm just trying to be the best player that I can be to help the team win. How do you like the culture that is here in Tennessee? I absolutely love being a Titan. I love the culture, I love the guys. We, we talked about the offseason, how we competed in the offseason, um, how Jarrell, Casey had events, Kevin Byard had a camp, uh, Ben Jones had something, Marcus had something. A every week it seems like I'm going to a, a, a teammate and a friend's charity event. We're going to dinner with each other's wives, and I don't think you know, it was like that in the past, and I think we really like playing with each other. We had some years playing together, and I think those would translate to the amount of sacrifice that it takes on the field as a team to, to win. I think it's the ultimate sacrificial game, and I think you need to have an ultimate sacrificial team to be good at it.